Hey everyone, it's TV Shores. It's March 23rd, 2021. It's 10.45 p.m. Okay, we're going to pick up now. Um, we had gotten to this part in this, this verse in Daniel 3.5 where it says of music. And all right, that's uh, Hebrew 2.1. The Hebrew in the Strong's uh, 2170. Now, when we get into this, hold on just a moment. Okay, the thing that the Lord, like I said, I'm going to cut down on time um, by just going directly to what he had me to focus on. And what he drew my attention to was this right here. Instrumental music. Uh, and what he had me to pull out of this for us to understand is when we look into the word instrumental and we understand the meaning of instrumental, it means serving as a critical means, meaning it's a critical part of something that's needed, okay? Being instrumental in something. Um, one of the most important influences in causing something to happen. So being instrumental means it is critical and one of the most important influences in causing something to come about. Uh, now, wait a minute. I'm trying to see if there's anything the Lord wants me to add to that. Uh, as we look at... The second part of this, music, what the Lord had me to pull out of that was it is the science or art of ordering tones or sounds in succession, in combination, and in temporal relationship, meaning a pattern of sounds. Okay, so here we see that that is basically talking about the science or the knowledge of ordering tones and sounds in patterns, okay? The the significance of that is it is instrumental. It's saying that it is instrumental that the way that these sounds and tones are implemented and the patterns that they create will be instrumental in what the enemy will use them for in in his plan on how it works as he has created this change within this temple and made it a receptor of these sounds and tones and things. Um, so I take from that 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 plays a big part in his plan. Uh, and it's all about this, what we learned with that, um, I think I already closed that window. We popped back over there. Well, we talked about that project where they had changed the pulse and, the, and frequency and things on a radar and the effects that it had had on people. Um, I, but I think this is on a much huger scale than that was. That was back in 1960, I'm sure that technology and abilities have far exceeded what took place in 1960 versus what's capable of being done now. So this is basically just telling us that what the enemy is going to do with the use of, of this science is going to be instrumental in manipulating uh, people who have partaken in um, these things that will make up the mark. Okay, the thing that we get into next, let's see here, is this phrase within this verse that says, you fall down. And as we come on down here, we see that it simply means 
fall, fall down, have occasion. Um, what the Lord had me to pull out of that was this occasion. And it simply means um, particular time or instance of an event, reason or cause, to cause something, occasion to cause something. That's how that was hitting me, occasion to cause something. It's about a particular time, just as we saw, I'm trying to think where that was at. Yes, back um, over at the part of this verse, at the beginning where it says that at what time, and it was talking about a set time, uh, and that was pointing us to this time of uh, making this temple unclean, defiling it, to where it leaves a mark on it, to where it's no longer useful to the Lord. Um, so here we look at this occasion. I think that's pointing us to let us know that there's going to be a moment, a particular time, when all this will be set in motion. It's about having set certain things in place and then a set in motion, okay, at a particular time. But another thing we want to look at within this phrase, you fall down, um, we click into the corresponding H5307, and what we see there, let me get on down here, it's a lot of stuff written here. Okay, it says, calls to, I'm trying to think, right here it is. This is the part the Lord drew my attention to. Okay. Calls to let, make, ready, to fall, fall away, fall down. So it's this is pointing to this being the cause of the falling away. Okay. Um, and that's what the Lord drew my attention to with this. And I believe that's what he's conveying here with this phrase, ye fall down, in reference to them worshiping the beast back in, in Daniel 3, verse 5. Cause to, let, make, ready to, fall away or fall down. Now that takes us right back to 2 Thessalonians, where the Lord had me to begin with this, about the falling away. Now, if you remember, um, and that's been several videos back, uh, the Lord was showing me that the stick was connected to the falling away. And then we popped over to Psalm 55, which is the scripture the Lord gave me the night that he gave me the dream about the stick, okay, back in 2014. <clears throat> and so when we keep all this in mind, it was a dream about the stick that it would be forced, we were to resist, and I'm just putting it in a nutshell, there's, there's you know, bits more to it, uh, and that those that rejected refused would be protected and hidden by the Lord okay um, but it's important to understand God is letting us know this is not something that we need to take um, we need to be telling our loved ones we need to be warning um, you know whether or not they heed what's said it's our place to warn okay so, as we look into Psalm 55, just a little bit again, where the Lord had taken me from 2 Thessalonians, the falling away, and shown me in Psalm 55, which is directly connected to the stick, because I got these on the same night. I got the stick dream, and then I got this scripture right on the heels of it. Okay, 
we learned, starting with verse 12, that it's about uh, someone coming against those of the Lord that used to fellowship with them. They used to fellowship together, but they have become an enemy. Okay? They have turned. Something changed. And we saw when we got to verse 15, it says, for wickedness is in their dwelling. And see, that's what this has all been about. How the enemy plans on setting himself up in this temple to dwell in this temple of the Lord. And the wickedness that was in the dwelling, of course, when we went into that, well, here it comes. Uh, it was Hebrew, Ra, okay? And Ra basically is Satan. Look up Ra, ancient Egypt, and you'll get what I'm saying if you don't already. Um, but it was letting us know that this was about this falling away. These people that used to fellowship together, some of them had come against them. And it was because of they had Ra in their dwelling. That's what this says. Let death seize upon them and let them go down quick into hell for wickedness, which is Ra, which is Satan, is in their dwelling. And of course, we knew the dwelling was all about us understanding that it was that dwelling place in this temple. Um, as we see in the, the tabernacle in the Old Testament, the Lord had a dwelling place. He has a dwelling place in this temple as well. And it's about Ra, Satan, the enemy, setting himself up within that temple, this temple. And that is what has brought about this change in these people that, that used to fellowship in the house of the Lord. That's what verses 12 through 14 tell us, okay? And then when we backed up, the Lord started showing us it had to do with, as we learned by digging into day and night, it had to learn, uh, we learned it had to do with the pig land and the building blocks and how all that was going to be um, manipulated through what's going to be inserted into this temple by the stick. And the Lord is trying to show us that this falling away, these people that used to come to his house uh, and share counsel with those of the house of God, they fall away. Now, I'm still trying to understand some things about this that I'm sure y'all have the same questions I do about it. I'm seeking the Lord on some of these things that are not quite clear to me. Uh, I have no doubt that he's going to bring it, but it's in his time that it will come. So, as we look back to where we are at in Daniel 3, we are looking at right here, ye fall down is directly pointing us back to the falling away of 2 Thessalonians and what we see uh, has created this falling away as the Lord had us to dig in and understand that in Psalm 55. And I'm going to cut this off here and I'll see where the Lord wants to go from here. I love y'all. Bye-bye.